Nakamura, the hybrid, comes from Japanese MMA royalty coming up this weekend. He's going to be taking on Mexico's own Fernie Garcia. Garcia looking for his first UFC victory after coming in on Dana White's Contender Series. And when I saw that this fight got booked, I went, why? Because Fernie Garcia, the book's been out on him for a long time. He is a really good boxer. Yeah. Really fast hands. He can mix in his power shots. He goes body head quite a bit. He's not the biggest leg kicker. But if he does throw that leg kick out there, you can take him down. And his wrestling defense is not all that good. And you've seen that from Garcia in the UFC against Journey Newsom and against Brady Heastan. He got absolutely mauled when it came to those grappling positions. Rini Nakamura is a very very good wrestler who just so happened to knock out a fighter in the first round his last time out. If you look at it for Rinya Nakamura, he's probably the most polished of the guys that are fighting the eight fighters in these tournament finals, oh, yeah. whether it's from flyweight all the way up to lightweight. And you might know Nakamura from like, you know, wrestling meets, you know, because if you look at him, I mean, the 2017 under 23, 61 kilogram world champion freestyle wrestler. And he's definitely that type of prospect. He competed at worlds in 2018 team Japan finished third in that tournament in Iowa. And if you look at it for Nakamura, I mean, this is a guy like his family or his father was one of the originators of Shuto MMA over in Japan in the 90s. So really cool stuff there from Nakamura. But you look at it, already 6-0 as a pro. He just debuted a couple of years ago in 2021. And that was it. I mean, when wrestling 2017, 2018, it kind of hit his peak. He had a plan on going to the Olympics. But with the way that things went, he just decided to transition into MMA. And by goodness, I'm glad he well, did. Pretty because good at it. You look at this guy from Southpaw, you look at the striking that he possesses. He doesn't necessarily look just like a wrestler. And I think of guys that got to the nth degree of wrestling, ended up in the UFC or the top levels of MMA. You look at a guy like Mark Madsen with his Greco Roman. I mean, Mark Madsen probably dreams of fighting like Rinya Nakamura someday. Like, you look at this guy. And he's Let's wait really, till he gets to the UFC. Yeah, first. but he's he's really really scratched the surface of what you can become having just such a high level skill set. And my God, for for physique levels out of a guy like Nakamura, the guy's built like a brick. You know what house? Well, he's a world champion level wrestler. Most of them are. But let's say he has any troubles on the mat, and I don't even think he's gonna have that. If I'm being completely honest. But let's say he does get uncomfortable from the top position. Well, he's the one with the wrestling advantage. He can decide whether or not they are grapplers or they are going to be strikers. And on the feet, I do think Nakamura not only is the more complete striker, he's the more heavy-handed striker out of the two. He's the far better boxer. I shouldn't say striker, because Nakamura is not going to go in there and hit you with a high level of kicks. He's not going to be like Jamal Hill, throw a bunch of head kicks, a bunch of body kicks. He will work primarily behind the boxing, but like we've seen out of a lot of dominant wrestlers, boxing is great for wrestlers because it makes you uh, compete in that close range, and that helps you with both. The legs right there to grab the heads right there to punch and i do think nakamura does have a decided advantage in the striking which is really going to matter the thing about rinya nakamura is you don't want to use the word bow nickel right like bow nickel is the cream of the crop when it comes to prospects but the nice thing to see out of nakamura is again you're going to know about the wrestling and you assume that is going to be such a dominant part of his game that that's all you're going to see oh my goodness this man has layers like an ogre like an onion and those are the nice things to see out of nakamura because you understand what his foundational skill set is but you also realize that he has so many other parts to his game and you're right for Fernie Garcia he can make a fight exciting right against basically anybody you could be a box full of pool noodles at a Walmart and Fernie Garcia could probably have a fight of the night with you the problem is if he can't defend the takedown especially not early yes I do think he has probably more complex strikes than Nakamura Nakamura does have very heavy hands but again it's not like he's going out there throwing Max Holloway level combinations so maybe Garcia can make him burn his arms out going for a lot of takedowns he can stuff all of them I can't believe that these words are coming out of my mouth because I don't believe that's going to happen I I think for Rinya Nakamura, he has shown not only the ability to be one of those top level prospects, but again, he's got the plan B, the plan C to go along with the dominant skill set. Now, what I do like out of this one, and this is for both guys, for Fernie Garcia, still out of Fortis MMA, great gym. You're going to be working with a lot of wrestlers in that room. And the other good thing for Fernie Garcia is... Think about a guy from 155 down that makes the trip, what is it, like nine hours from his home gym to go there? Carlos Diego Fajera. Hopefully that guy was able to help out Fernie Garcia just a smidge, if at all possible. Fernie Nakamura, LDH martial arts in Japan. But for this camp, full camp for weeks on end to turning into it months at American Top Team. And you like to see that for Fernie Nakamura as... Not even an already polished product, but he went just about as far as you can go with his wrestling to not have an Olympic medal around his neck. 
to then transition into mixed martial arts. Nakamura is a pretty darn big favorite in this matchup. We have a look at the topology votes. I don't think they're gonna be all that close. I'm gonna say over under 95% Nakamura. You hit me with a 97 earlier. I thought you were gonna go back to it. I'll, I'll say under just because it's such a hot. Oh and, my oh, goodness. Oh, it's 789 total votes, 98% Nakamura, 73% by knockout for the 2% that have Garcia, 53% by decision, and 21% by knockout. But I think Rini Nakamura wins this fight, and I don't I don't think he's going to try and keep it standing like he did his last time out against Toshiomi Kazama, who's a good jiu-jitsu player, so why not strike with him? But against Garcia, probably not wise to strike. We saw Joshua Weems do that, and Weems is a guy that's good with his grappling, but he can struggle sometimes leaving himself open. So hopefully for Nakamura, the good people at American Top Team have him in safe hands in this one. If Akim Olajuwon had a 1v1 against Craig Ostertag, I don't know if he'd be a minus 700 favorite. Like, that's how big of a deal Nakamura is. He has so many skills he can go to, like you said. Not only the power in his hands, I think we will see the wrestling side of him in this matchup. It'd be, it would be ridiculous if we didn't see it. So I do have Nakamura, but again, these are the fights where, just show us more, right? Show us more every single time out so that you can kind of justify your way moving up the division because Bantamweight's wide open right now. We have a brand new champion at the top, a lot of fresh matchups to make. So if Nakamura can can really solidify himself in this division. He can move up pretty quick. You have a new Ultimate Fighter Bantamweight winner and Canadian Brad Katona, but listen, you win the Ultimate Fighter, you get a nice trophy, you win Road to UFC, you get to fight in an Apex and you don't get a trophy. Matt, both of us going with the Road to UFC winner from earlier on this year, Rinya Nakamura to get the win. Let us know down below in the comments section who you have some big time matchups. There's just a few of them left on this card. Toss a like on your way through. Keep it locked in with Fight Night Picks. We always say, let's get into it.